All right, folks, welcome to another day. We are making our paper mache sugar skulls. Yesterday, you should have already made your round ball. And I said you could have used regular paper, white paper, newspaper, an old book, or even just white paper, okay? And so you have your, your ball, all right? And you should have uh, taped it. I said you could have used any tape to tape it down, but not to put tape all around the whole entire thing, just to where the paper could stay, all right? The supplies you're going to need today are simply a bowl, a spoon for mixing, your glue, and like I said, it could be any kind of glue, white glue is the best, and then just a cup of water to mix it, all right? You are going to need scissors and a rag just to clean your hands and some strips of paper. Again, that could have been newspaper, that could have been uh, an old book maybe, or even white paper or notebook paper. All right. So in order to get these strips the right size, you're going to just go ahead and cut them. And when you cut them, I always tell kids about finger length, all right? Finger length is perfect for these and about an inch wide. You don't need to measure it, just kind of guess. But these, these are perfect, about a finger length, an inch wide, all right? So let's go ahead and mix our paper mache and all we have to do is get glue and water. So we're gonna get half glue, half water. So I have my cup. Make sure you have a bowl and make sure that your parents said that it's okay to use it. Just a plastic bowl or a cereal bowl is fine. You just need a little bit of water, okay? And some glue. You don't need the whole bottle of glue. Just a good amount. All right. Cool. So half glue, half water. Go ahead and mix that up. And it's going to be sort of just uh, milky water, I guess you can say. All right, you're gonna mix it enough so that it's just a cloudy water and it's mixed just enough. If you feel like you did it wrong, you added too much water or too much glue and you wanna start over, just empty it out into the sink or just flush it down the toilet, all right? So now I have my glue and my water and I didn't warm up the water. It's not super cold water, it's just regular water. Again, this is just water and glue, nothing complicated. All right, so now we have our, we get our strips of newspaper and we're gonna layer them one by one onto our skull, okay? Or our, our head of our skull. Okay, and so it's important that you get one paper at a time, okay? And you're going to dip it into the newspaper one by one, okay? one by one go ahead and get, get any excess and you're going to take it off with two fingers that's very important okay and you're just going to layer them one by one like i was telling you all right make sure you go over the whole entire skull think of it as such as like a mummy or something all right again you're going to get one by one and you need to make sure you completely submerge it into the water okay the watery glue again you go back and forth okay Make sure that the part that you grabbed right here, make sure that it was wet as well. Get two fingers and take off the excess, okay? Because you don't want your skull very soggy or falling apart. Again, you can go in strips. You can go back and forth, all right? And just go one by one. Okay, say that you have a part that is sticking out, sort of like this part, all right? That you really want it to come down and it's not working. Sometimes you can just put your finger into the bowl and just smooth it out and go like that. But say it's still not sticking, it's really bothering you maybe. Just go ahead and get a newspaper or a paper. You probably just need a smaller one so you can go ahead and tear it. Again, completely submerge it, go back and forth in the gluey water. Take off the excess with two fingers, that's very important. And just go over the part that you think that was sticking out or that wasn't looking right, all right? And also when it dries, you may have some parts that stick out. All you have to do is get some scissors and snip them right off. All right, guys, you're gonna cover the whole entire skull, the back and the uh, back and forth, all the way around, including the the tape part. If there's a bunch of extra inside your bowl, just throw it back into the other bowl. That way, you won't have a puddle in the middle. All right, all right. Let me tell you some don'ts what not to do. Okay, do not get all your strips of paper and throw them into the glue water. What happens if you think of what would happen if you do that? That's right, they'll just get all soggy, they'll probably stick together. That's why it's important to do one by one, 
all right? Another thing, do not get your skull head and throw it all into the gluey water. Well, what happened is it'll just get all lumpy and gross and it won't come out right, all right? Another thing, do not get glue and water and just pour it all over your skull head, okay? Do not get your hands all into the water and just cover the whole entire skull head like that. It's gonna get lumpy, gross, and it won't dry correctly. All right, folks, I can't wait to see your work. Go ahead and submit your pictures and show me that you glued or that you put uh, strips of newspaper all the way around and I can't wait to see how they come out.